Hello. In this series, we've been talking about some of the causes of stress in human life. And I guess one of the major causes of stress for us all is powerlessness. The fact that there are lots of things going on that you've got absolutely no control over. Decisions the government makes. Things that the local council does. Things you read in the newspapers and you think there ought to be a law. Somebody ought to do something. But you actually, yourself, well, what can you actually do? Maybe that's why fewer people are voting than ever before. And a record number of those who had the ability to vote for the first time at the last election just didn't bother. They didn't turn up. Because what's one vote after all? What difference can you make in the world? And so many people get to the conclusion, well, all you can do really is live for yourself. Just make the best out of life that you possibly can. There's no point in trying to make a difference because after all, what can you do? The trouble is that feeling of powerlessness can bring great stress into your life. Every time you watch the TV news, every time you read a newspaper, you become aware there are lots of things in the world to worry about and you can't control any of them. So what do you do about that? How can we cope with a life in which there is so much to worry about and so little that you can do about it? Well, I want to suggest that one of the things we can do is hand it over. Let somebody else deal with it. A lecturer on stress management was actually standing in front of an audience of students one day holding up a glass of water. And he said to them, what do you think this glass of water weighs? And the guesses came from 50 grams to 200 grams. Nobody was sure. And he said, I actually really don't know. And he said, it doesn't matter. The important thing is what it weighs to me. And he said, the more I hold it out at the end of my arm, the heavier it gets. And if I carry on holding it, it will become intolerably heavy. And all I can do in the end is put it down. And he said, the stresses of your life are like that. The more you hold on to things that you can't cope with, the heavier they're going to get, the more of a burden they're going to be, and the more the years roll by, the less you will be able to bear that weight on your own. You need to find somebody to share the stress with. And I reckon he was speaking something that was absolutely true there, and that the ultimate place that you're supposed to take your stress to is the God who created you because God wants to take that burden from you. And he wants to deal with situations that you cannot deal with for yourself. That was one lesson the early Christians learned. Hounded all around the Roman Empire, not given much of a good time by anybody, they nonetheless found a joy and a peace and a freedom in the midst of incredible stress that nobody else had. Why was that? Well, tune in to some of the things that were said to them in the New Testament. The Apostle Paul said this, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Just hand it over. One of my favourite blues singers of all time is a guy from the 1920s called Blind Willie Johnson. He had a dreadful life. He was blinded at the age of eight. He spent most of his time just earning pennies on the corner of the street uh, with a, a tin can tied round his neck as he strummed his guitar. But he became a Christian and became a tremendous evangelist, somebody who led lots of people to faith. His life was still fairly brutal and still fairly short, and he died of pneumonia when he was refused admission to a whites-only hospital. Terrible life. And yet the favourite song I have of Blind Willie simply goes like this. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. And he sang, if you trust and never doubt, he will surely bring you out. Take your burden to the Lord and leave it there. And what made him a brilliant musician? What enabled him to create some of the, the greatest music in 20th century America, to be creative, to be joyful, was the simple fact that he didn't carry his problems by himself. He was powerless. He could do nothing about it for himself. But he could allow somebody who knew more about the situation than he did take the weight for him. And that's what God wants to do for all of us. And when we turn around and say, God, I'm sorry for leaving you out of my life. I'm sorry for trying to do things my own way. I, I, I want now to be one of your children. I want to lay down my independence, my rebellion, my pride, and come back to you. Then because Jesus died on the cross to make it possible for you and me to be forgiven, that can happen. We can come to know God as our friend, as our reliable companion through life, as our Lord and our master. We can take our burden to the Lord just like Blind Willie. Leave it there and know the answer to stress.